What up, though, y'all? It's your boy, Bill Yum. So this is going to be the first episode of Real Spill with Bill. We just trying something out, just trying to see what works. This is just a test run. I got my boy, Rod. I got beats, and they slap on God. On God. Okay, so like I say, you know, first episode, everybody let me know what y'all think, how y'all feel, how we look, how we sound. And we just going to run through a little quick little something, something real quick. So, for sure, I had... Many things in my mind that I do in the camera view. Do it look like our arms is touching or it don't? I can't really see. <laughs> We're not even seeing close. I'm it saying do it look close. like that in the camera? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. It's good. It's good okay. Man. So. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this guy here is crazy. <laughs> so the, discu- the, the topic came up that. A question that I have had for a long time. And, you know, I talked to y'all about it a few times. But today, since I'm right here with my bro, I'm going to ask him the question and see how he feel about it. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard the saying, um, you're a product of your environment? Of course I have. Okay. Do you feel like that is true? You're a product of your environment or do you think? Um, that's just something we've heard so many times and so long growing up. We just that shit makes us believe that we are a product of our environment. Man, that's a hundred percent facts. Which one is a hundred percent facts? That we are a product of our environment, bro. I just don't see how. How can you not see how? Bro? <laughs> I don't understand how you can't see how. Okay, so th- this my this is what I'm saying. This is why I feel like that. You being a product of your environment, I feel like that's not true. I feel like what it is is you are a product of the decisions you make while in your environment, not so much of your environment. You see what I'm saying? Because, all right, let's just say you my bro. I got another bro. I got my own dukes. I grow up. All three of y'all, I watch y'all sell crack. Y'all sell crack. And, and 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 every time y'all got an issue, y'all deal with it with violence. And let's just say I grow up, and seeing that, I decide to do the exact opposite. That means I'm a product of the decision I made while in this toxic ass environment, right? Mm, I mean, it is a, a decision you made, but nine times out of ten, you're gonna have that toxic. It's gonna be somewhere in your in your person, in your, in your mind, it's going to be on you. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be in you. My bad about that. It's going to be in you. Pause. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> so I'm saying, hey, when yo. you say it's going to be on you, it's going to be in you, whatever the case, What I'm saying, what do you mean? Because if I just did something totally different, how am I a product of this environment, of this toxic environment? Bro, you are a product of this environment, bro. It doesn't matter what it is. It's you're still going to be a product of the environment you coming from. 9 times out of 10, it probably won't be then, it probably won't be, you know, you know, now, but in the near future, something might happen to where it's triggered to go you'll you'll automatically go back to your childhood and and it'll, and it'll come out. Okay, so if you grew up in a house mom dad always arguing, screaming, fighting, you feel like when you grow up and be an adult, you're going to feel like you got to behave that way towards the woman you deal with. I feel like, not me per se, but yeah, it, that'll be something that comes to your mind because you're not going to feel, you're not going to feel like you're doing anything wrong. Okay. You're telling me that you're going to, you're going to feel like you're just, what? You're going to feel like you're doing something right, the right thing, the right thing that you, that you've known and you've seen your parents do. That's how I, that's how I look at it. Cause I've seen too many people go down that same path to where it's like, damn, their parents were arguing. They get into a relationship later on in life, and they arguing. It's like God, it's like, but it takes one person to break that cycle. Okay, so um, if you need to adjust that mic also to however you can, cause. When you be moving out the mic, it don't sound good. But this <laughs> is what I said. All right, you here. said something about breaking the cycle. Yeah. Okay. So if if I grow up in a very toxic environment, you're gonna be toxic. Okay. But what if hypothetically speaking, I don't be, and I be the exact opposite of my toxic family? Does that mean I broke a cycle? Yeah. 
you broke the cycle. Okay, so does that mean that's like you're going you're but you're still product of that environment though. You still grew up in that environment. I grew up there, but if I'm not if, if you don't look at me and deal with me and see that, I'm not a product of that. Right? Nah. Right or right. You're gonna be <laughs> what you mean, right or right? Right or right. Man, I mean, look, check this out. You're gonna be a product of your environment, regardless. <laughs> you know Wherever you come from, that's where you're gonna be a, you're a product of your environment. That's all I'm saying. If you grew up in an area that's a whole bunch of gangs, <laughs> gang activity, nine times out of ten, you're gonna be from a gang. Okay, let me ask you this. You from LA, right? Yeah. So you're very familiar with the gang culture, right? I am. Okay, have you ever seen somebody born and raised? In a high gang area that Ooh. never became gang, never joined the gang. I said nine, nine, nine times out of ten. No, so I'm asking you. Yes, I have. Okay, and what do you say about that person? That's that's based off the decision he decided to make, right? He's seen Bloods and Crips. Uh-huh. He live on the same street where it's a million Bloods and Crips at. Uh, and he said, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Even though my brother, my mama, my daddy did it, I'm not going to do it. So that's his decision, right? Yeah, it, that is his decision, yeah. Okay, so I'm but right. still, you got to be a product. You, you're you're going to say cuz, you're going to say blood. It's going to be part of your vocabulary. What if you don't say none of that? You capping, man. Okay. So how will he be capping? He capping. <laughs> he capping. <laughs> if you wait, I'm just saying, but I'm just, just, that's like being in New York and you're, you're not saying yo or and something. Not, yeah. It's like, what up, B? Yeah, it's not happening. What up, kid? Word the mother, yeah, yo. Niggas ain't saying that no more, but yeah, for sure. That's how, I, that's how I look at it. But that's my, that's my opinion. Okay. I have that. That's for me. Okay, so let me straighten something out because I want to make sure we're not discouraging yeah, no. um, none, none of these younger guys that feel like, Bill, I'm in this fucked up environment. I'm in this fucked up situation right now. And I stress to them, you can get out. Bro, you ain't got to do what you see them doing. No, you don't. You don't have to do that. Okay, so let me ask you this. You grew up in the house, your dad, your uncle, <laughs> your brother, mm-hmm. all in the house with you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up? With, hey, what's up with what's up with bro right here, man? So, what's going on with you, man? This guy's tripping. Your dad, your brother, your uncle, yeah. all in the crib. Yeah. Your whole life growing up, uh-huh. you trying to figure out how do they make their money? Why they always sleep during the day? And okay. then you fuck around and find out your dad, your uncle, and your brother mm-hmm. are all male strippers. That's what they do. They in <laughs> <laughs> what? Hold on, listen. <laughs> They in the club every night, Hell no. every day, every night, uh-huh. with a G string on, <laughs> <laughs> with Hell. baby oil on them. Bruh. They don't give a fuck if the crowd is male or female. They in the club Bruh. twerking <laughs> on stage. Hey, nah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Now. <laughs> Are you gonna become one? Hell no, nah, I ain't gonna become one. That ain't something I want to do. Everybody got a decision. No, 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 no. <laughs> So, <laughs> so are you a product of your environment? Or if you decide not to become one, you are a product of the decisions you made in your environment, right or right? Bruh. <laughs> First of all, ain't no male strippers going on in my household. <laughs> <You know? laughs> but <laughs> if they were, I'm not doing that. That's not that's not something that I want. But to do. you're a product of your environment. You're gonna do it. Guess what you just said? You said yeah. you're gonna say blood. You're gonna say cuss. So that means in this, I'm situation- not shaking no ass though. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not out there busting it down. You listen, feel me? That's not what I'm so, doing. Listen, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> what the I'm- fuck I do, bro? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go. go outside and play with the homies. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go out there and mack with the females. Okay, that's like, what I'm asking. Yeah, I'm not doing that. You said 
if they decide not to join a game, they're going to still have some traits. They're going to say blood or cub. Yeah. So in this situation, you're going to buy you a thong. (laughs) You're going to keep some baby oil nearby. You're going to do something that because you're a product of that environment. I ain't busting no ass. You feel me? But what if that's what your daddy, your uncle, all your brother's doing? Okay, that's fine. And and they telling you like, hey, they coming in three, four thousand dollars. This is what I made tonight. Man. Big Ben was there tonight. He threw the sack. Hell not. Old lady, old lady Pearl was there tonight. She threw the bag at us. Hey man, don't listen to this, pops. We're I'm just that. asking. We're not doing that. So if you decide not to do that, you that are mean, a product of the nah. decisions you made in your environment, right? Right. right or right? My environment could be out, like outside my household. But what about you? Grow up inside the household. Your dad, your bro, them. This is who feed you. This is who clothe you. Right. So nah. the clothes that he wear at work. <laughs> Hey, bro. Nah, I'm just talking shit now, but the point I'm making is. Okay, what if your uncle and your brother was out there? Ain't no my uncle. No, we not. That ain't got nothing to do with my bro and my uncle because you the one that that thinks against this. So my bro and my uncle, this is a different scenario. You got to catch me on a different episode and ask me this bullshit. You feel me? So. Off the dribble, nigga, you out there shaking ass. I'm just saying, so. (laughs) That's out. (laughs) That's not happening. That's not happening in my household. I'm just saying there's nothing wrong with it, but that ain't happening over there. How can you say what's happening in your household? You don't run the household. You're a child growing up. Okay, and I have friends that's outside my household. I don't have to stay in the house. Okay, what if your pop say, nigga, you ain't going outside. Stay in this house. Then what? Bro, I'm outside. (laughs) (laughs) I'm outside. I'm outside. And then you come home from school when there's a stripper pole installed in the living room. I'm moving out. I'm <laughs> going to my grandmother's house. When you 12. How you moving out? I'm going to my grandmother's house. What if she don't live nowhere near? We out. I'm telling you. <laughs> We're gone. I'm, I'm not. He is out of there. <laughs> I'm not in there. Hey, man, this is the first episode of Real Spill with Bill. This is just a test run just to see how things going to go. See the feedback we get. We're going to do it way bigger, way better than this. But I just wanted to do a slight little test run. I want to know in the comments, who do y'all agree with? What do y'all agree with? What's your questions, comments, and concerns on this? It's your boy, Billiam. What's your boy, Rada? Got beats and they slap on God. On God. That's for me, though. That's for me, not for you. What is that going to do? That's for my voice. You said it just make it more crisp? Yeah.